Hello boys and girls, we are going to take the cheapest vehicle and cross the country with it. Cole is currently taking off the wheel to this thing. What did we buy exactly? Well, we bought this. This is a 2005 Ford Escape. It's got a six cylinder engine, a little bit more horsepower than the four cylinder. It's silver, it's clean, it's mean. However, it is rusty as So we're currently in Western New York right now. We're going to Central Florida. That's a long haul. That's not your daily commute. So why not try to take the cheapest vehicle we can possibly buy, $750. I think I actually did decent. I mean, we, we got some repairs to do, but it, it's a starter. What do you guys think? Will this girl make it? Well, let's find out. Let's fix her up so we can make this happen. Try to make it happen. And we're going to need AAA. Call. Call AAA up. We're going to need that subscription ASAP. Now it's trusty rusty. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You already got names for this thing? And they rhyme? It's, Not good. Not good. <laughs> You're the one that called and rusty. All I know is if we break down, you're pushing. I'll push the buttons to dial some AAA. Come <laughs> break us off. We better, we better contact them right now and tell them that they have a sponsorship on the hook. Here's the mountain of parts we have so far. Well, the easiest way to get to Florida is going to be to roll. So let's check a few things. Tires? Decent. If you roll, you gotta go, you gotta stop. Brakes? Wow, brand new. That's really bad. Will we have a smooth ride down there? Shocks? Um, that's not even hooked up. Great. Cole, this isn't looking good. Why don't you buy it? Well, before I took all those parts off, it looked like a decent vehicle. What were the selling points? I really just like the color of the car. 16 inch rims though too, huh? Nice. One thing's for sure, buddy. You're definitely gonna need to wear that shirt. Uh, why don't we just rip this off or what? Rip it off. Come on, get off. Yeah, still got about 50 screws on this side. Yeah, there's a lot of screws here. Hey, there's the outdoors. I think we've made a miscalculation on this one. So here we got this gaping hole. Don't mind that gaping hole, we got fluids. You need fluids when you're crossing the country. And bam, just like that, we got all the fluids in. Changing of fluids isn't the most interesting thing, but it's done. It's kind of like when you're in the bathroom and you pee all over the seat. Not that interesting. However, what is interesting is the fact that we used tractor parts to weld this thing back together and it's looking way better. Actually, Cole, is it? We took Dad's second tractor, that's his first one, took off the fender and cut it all up and threw pieces in like that so we don't have any gaping holes. Now we just have to pack up for the trip. It's 228. We have 133,000 miles. We have 133,001 miles and that guy. Should we be concerned that the service or brake system is on? What do you need brakes for? Good thinking. We're finally on the road. Feels like we're in an incredible rate here. So we're on the road. We've never towed anything with this thing. I have driven this thing probably 100 miles without anything in it, just doing a couple errands, testing it out before we've actually hit the road. And now we're hitting the throughway. The big bad 190. Here we come. This thing is impressing me, I'll tell you that. No Duramax. Just doing diesel. Maybe it just needs uh... Usually I'm used to a truck, a diesel truck. This is a gas SUV. And what I'm noticing is with my truck, once you get on the throughway, you're in the highest gear the whole time. This thing, not so much. It likes to shift to fourth and fifth, and it's not just staying in the high gear. And it, like Cole says, it's not doesn't even use fifth gear. It just uses it as a transition to get from fourth to sixth or sixth to fourth. So I wish it would ride in fifth, but we'll see. We're gonna hear the transmission clack and chip the whole way there. I'm just wondering if we can get that. Uh, don't don't mind the the lights on right there. I'm just wondering if we can get that gauge closer to the H. H is hot. You don't want to be hot. We made it our first state. We're in Pennsylvania. Things are good so far in the $750 rig. We just swapped drivers. Cole's driven the Duramax a lot, my truck. He hasn't driven this yet, have you? Continue nope. straight. So he's uh, about 600 yards into it. Fresh, new. I put a little over 100 miles on him. Just quick shifts. I want to eat some turkey. Turkey is good. Is turkey good? Oh! It's tricky. <laughs> uh, I don't know about for a road trip. It's got melatonin in it. 
They fall asleep on the jungle. Yeah. It's got melatonin in it? Yeah. Really? Did you know that? No, what does that do? It makes you sleep. It's tired. You haven't even hit the speed limit yet. <laughs> well, you know, we are going uphill. Easy now. Calm down. This isn't a race. How are you looking, buddy? Check the engine? Yep, still there. At least it's not on fire, it does feel warm. Let's check this. To tell you the truth, for $750, I was expecting a lot more issues with our, within our first hour on the road. We've been at it for, I think, two, maybe two and a half hours. So overall, I'm impressed. Let's hit the road. Check that coal. Coal, what do we got going on under there? Got an issue. We're Lincoln, we're Lincoln pumpkin sauce. Oh, hi. So I was looking at the back and the previous stop we made, Cole's like there's some oily stuff on the window. And I'm like, hmm, what the heck could that be? I didn't think anything of it. But then we drove another uh, probably 150 miles or so, 200 miles. And we don't get very far with this with the trailer. So I start examining it and I see that we have more on here. We just cleaned this. And then I'm seeing it, it's on our wire, and I really saw it on the handle to our jack. So then I started thinking, what is leaking? I looked under there and it's the rear differential. Layman's terms, a part under the vehicle. So Cole's putting oil in that thing right now. Luckily we had one of them. It took the whole thing? Yeah, you got a napkin? Cole's so environmentally friendly. <laughs> Seventeen and thirty-three is an even fifty. <laughs> Stop three. Seventeen bucks, nine gallons. Stop four. Who's doing the math? Stop number five. What, did you fall asleep? We stopped at stop six and you weren't there. Stop seven. Hold on to this desolate road. This is like the future of Florida right here. No houses, nothing. The grass is growing over the road. I just went into the woods real quick. It's it's like really bare right here. The, the, the main road is like right over here, but all of this is like dead. And since the vehicle is actually making crappy noises, let's check out what plan B would be if this thing does decide to really break down. This is my first time taking this thing out. I haven't even tried it yet, and I can tell you right now that this thing is cool. The link is in the description. Now here's the question. If we break down, will this thing carry us right out of the box? I haven't charged it, I haven't done nothing with it. Let's test it out. You must have to kick it. Oh yeah, oh yeah! This thing's fast! This thing even has cruise control! So good to be back! So this seems like a slow mode, and if you click it again, it goes on a fast mode, and it goes like 18 miles an hour. I've uh, been riding this for quite a bit because it's really fun and I like to stretch my legs since we've been driving this whole time. One thing I have to say is I hope we don't break down because I kind of lowered the battery a little bit. We'll see, but one thing's for sure, I found my new grocery getter. This thing's nice. Where's my car? I'm gonna give this scooter one thumbs up. I'd give it two, but then I'd drop you guys and that wouldn't be good. The link to that thing is in the description. I also dropped a new Froggy Fresh shirt. That is in the description as well. Check it out. Let's fold this girl up and get on the road. I couldn't help but notice that you fell asleep. Did you get into my turkey? I'll tell you one thing, my foot did more sleep than I did. Every time I woke up, I couldn't even move. It was just so tingly and I waited five minutes before I even 
we made it. We actually made it. The $750 car went across the country. We started up in New York, drove all the way down here to Florida, and literally all we had to do was put gas in it and a little bit of oil. If we didn't put the oil in, the, the differential probably would have. But what the heck is that noise? I don't know what that noise is though. We're gonna have to look into that. I have to admit there was a part of me that got a little bit nervous when it started making some noises and then we were running out of gear oil and if one thing breaks and it leads to another and it's just bad, bad stuff can happen. I hope you guys enjoyed my challenge. Stay froggy fresh, stay super fly. Hit that like button, hit the subscribe button and leave the gas total that we used on this trip in the comment section to potentially earn a shout out in the next 3D Machines production. I'm gonna choose two of you froggy fresh individuals. Until next time, stay froggy fresh, 3D Machines out. Close to sleep.